Okay, we're at Bubba's Fish Shack in Myrtle Beach at Surfside. And the ocean is right over here. And we're going in and I get to have a drink and I'm with my friend Lori and her friend Dawn. And Dawnie. And their fellow Illinoisans. I went, to, <laughs> I went to school with Lori. Hi guys. Grammar school and I'm high the school. designated driver. <laughs> No, you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Cause you've been a good friend In an oil change, the light goes on, it's time to get done But you wonder why it takes so long because It's like, did they forget something? There's like nobody doing nothing to it there you go. So I'm getting the oil change. Had to unhitch the car. There we go. Here's the trailer. Danny's inside. So there's Vanna. She's getting her oil changed. It's that time. I think it's done. We'll see. There's my new hitch. Not as ugly as the old one. Hello, everybody. I'm on the road again, and it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Got done having an oil change. <laughs> yeah, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. My oil indicator kept going on telling me time to get your oil changed, time to get your oil changed. So I kept saying, okay, okay, okay. And I thought, you know. I'm not taking any chances. So I pulled into this one Jiffy Lube a little a few back before I even got into South Carolina. And I looked at the bay and I thought, uh, no, I'm not going to be able to go in there. Because I didn't want to unhitch. <laughs> With the new hitch, I thought, I'm not, I didn't want to take that chance. I wasn't used to the new hitch yet and um, I thought if I can just pull in and they could just check my do my oil without me having on hitch that would be great right wrong <laughs> so then I um, I thought well okay I'll just go to the park at Ocean Lakes and then when I get when I leave there I'll go get an oil change because I did see um, you know, so I went there and did that. So then when I went to lunch with my friends, my friends from my one friend from high school, Lori, I said, oh, wow, look, there's a Jiffy Lube in the bay. The garage is big enough for me to just roll my, drive my car through <laughs> and get the oil change, you know, because they're underneath. You know, what's the big deal? Wrong. They said, no, they won't. They don't do that. And I'm like, really? Why? What's a big deal? You know? But they said no. But, you know, maybe you can go right next door and they could, maybe they'll do it for you next door. So they sent me over to the to Goodyear Tires. And Goodyear Tires was like, the one guy said, well, yeah, I'll do it for you. I'll get underneath the car and do it for you like that. But the boss man said, no, 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 no. Insurance does not cover us to do with the young man is suggesting he was going to just get underneath the car and do an oil change so um he goes but if you unhitch it i'll do it so i thought to myself you know what i bet nobody's gonna agree to do it like that so i guess i have no choice you know 
So the manager says, listen, he goes, Carolyn, don't worry about it. If you can't hitch back up, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get you hitched up. Don't worry about it. He goes, I'm actually, I'm familiar with this hitch. So no fear. We'll get you hit, hitch. We're not going to let you get stranded. I said, well, I didn't think so. It's just a matter of me getting used to it. I have to hitch it up and I have to unhitch it because I'm the one who has to feel comfortable. And I want to do it at my pace. I don't want to feel pressure because somebody's standing here watching me, you know. He goes, well, yeah, I understand totally. He goes, don't worry. You're in the back of the business. You can just take your time. I said, okay, then. I said, well, let's just do it. We'll change my oil. Now, okay, I got a glare here from the sun. We don't want to get that. I saw that on somebody else's video when somebody had a funny glare. So I, uh, I did. I, um, I, I had to wait for about an hour, but I waited. And I, Danny and I went to the, a local restaurant and I had a couple coffee and I had, oh, I had this great sweet potato casserole. It was right there on the main street going towards Surfside and um, after you come out of Ocean Lakes. So um, I was at Mason Tires. Mason the name of the tire place I'm going to tell you it's a brand uh, a Goodyear Mason Goodyear tires so um, so I went and got my oil change and then and we ate and then I and actually I unhitched it and I hitched it back up all by myself yeah give me a hand did it did it did it Danny got to go for a walk, and then I, then I actually, I did put her in the camper for a while just so she could chill out with the windows open because it was a beautiful breeze, and she was stressing me out <laughs> sitting in the lobby waiting, you know, because you have to keep her on a leash, and that's never fun for her being on a leash. So now I'm on the road again. going to a, another secret location in South Carolina and I am going to check in with somebody that some of my viewers know. Some of them don't. But if you're a live streamer, you if you watch my live streams or if you watch other people's live streams, you know this person. this person so you'll have to stay tuned to my video when I visit with this person now I'm going to probably do a little short video tonight which will not have this person in it but if I don't I'll do a video tomorrow with my surprise guest I hope my guest will agree to be in my video because they usually like to stay incognito but hopefully they'll agree to be in a video and I'm sorry my video was 20 minutes long yesterday the video I put out yesterday was 20 minutes long and I do want to say that finally my mosquito bites or my noceum bites or whatever they are are starting to heal. I mean, they got me on my face. They got me on my neck. Oh, I had tons of them on my neck. I had them on my face. And that was because I used that gen uh, green, you know, it's supposed to be organic noceum spray. And it actually attracted them instead of repelling them. I threw that stuff in the garbage. Someone said, you should take it back. You know what? I bought it like 
eight months ago or almost a year ago. I don't think I could take it back. Plus, I got rid of the box. So, I would just have, like, the bottles. It was, like, three different bottles. One that was big, like, you could spray the area. But right then, they really would have got me. I mean, they, they got me on my face, on my forehead, on my head. Oh, gosh. It was horrible. Everywhere where I put the spray. If I, places I didn't put the spray, I didn't get bit. Really, my ankles, my oh, my hands were so bit up. My hands and my top of my, my hand. Oh, it's finally they're healing. Thank goodness I went into the salt water. Oh, the, it seemed like the salt water healed them. You know. Okay, I'm on my way to meet a friend. Hey, okay, so I'm in the back of um, this restaurant and I had a good thing I have four-wheel drive because I had to go through the mud to park because of the way everybody's parked back here to find some place to park and so now my good thing I have four-wheel drive but I'm all filled with mud my car is all filled with mud my rig is all filled the tires are all filled with mud I'm a true rebel girl because my rig is all filled with mud the tires and everything. So, Danny's inside. I'm just hoping that this big old semi over here is not going to block me in. I'm going to be able to get out. Uh, a little sunburn still from uh, Myrtle Beach on my face. It hurts. I don't usually have that problem, but. So this is my tight fit I pulled in over here because there's no place to park. So I'll show you behind me. See, <laughs> I had a backup in this thing back here. And so what I did was I did a turnaround, 3.2 turn right in this area back over here. Because I thought maybe there was an alley or something, but there wasn't, so I pulled up way up on the grass over there and backed and look at all my mud all my mud on my tires and all my mud on my tires on my car so I'm gonna go meet my friend and there he is I'm not gonna tell you who he is yet so my friend's gotta back their car up also but um, they're a pretty white car. White car seems to be it, you know? But Vanna, Vanna is no longer white. Well, she will be once I clean her up. Well, there we go. My friend's gonna park behind me. My friend doesn't really like to be on camera, but we'll see. Okay. This is where I am. I am at the Rock Hill Diner, and this is where I had lunch, or breakfast, lunch, lunch, with my friend. Um, and you guys know who my friend is if you're a live chatter. Yep, you do. So, I'm going to go check on Danny, and I'm going to see if I can get my friend to go on video real quick and say hello, or maybe just a snapshot, since my friend is camera shy. Okay, my my mystery friend, say hello. Hello. The Daxinator. Hello, Hi. all LT's fans, how are you? <laughs> She's a nice lady, as nice as she is on YouTube. That's the way she is in person. Oh, you're too sweet. Thank you. 